It's an underappreciated uh, uh, program, in my view, which has been the development of Selenexor as a completely novel first-in-class agent targeting a mechanism of nuclear export proteins um, that is very important to the way cancer cells actually express their gene products and are able to mutate, uh, resist, grow and survive. I guess the analogy of way of thinking about it, Tom, is that um, the proteins that sit within the nucleus and suppress these genes are exported by the cancer cell and so it's almost as if the parents have left home and the kids are going to have a rave. And the bottom line is what Selenexor does is stop that process and keep the parents at home. No rave, just wine and cheese. So basically people behave as opposed to go crazy. And literally that's how this drug works. It's fascinating because it's orally bioavailable. It is um, given typically once or twice a week in combination typically weekly but in our uh, STORM study, because it was single agent with dexamethasone, we actually gave it twice a week. In that context, um, we were able to demonstrate that when you started at a certain dose, you could then dose reduce to improve tolerability. But very, very importantly, about a third of patients responded, even though they were triple class resistant and so-called pentarefractory. These are very, very sick patients. And emblematic of that, and this is kind of what we showed in the poster presentation today, was that if you looked at the patients who didn't respond, their survival was less than two months, which shows how sick these folks are. Having said that, the patients who did respond did much, much better, and we saw survivals that were in excess of a year. So when you start to see that kind of information emerging, you start to realize that this drug probably has some merit. In fact, we strongly believe that, and in that context, combination trials now have shown really uh, an improved tolerability profile and an impressive activity as well. So we're very hopeful that uh, um, the uh, combination of Selenex or dexamethasone will provide a platform for um, uh, an ex what we call an accelerated approval so we get access to this, this, this agent for our very sick patients. One point to make about the data we presented is that obviously in any kind of single arm clinical trial it's very important to understand what the patient population does in the absence of an effective therapy or in current practice. So one of the key strengths of this study was to look at what we call flat iron database, which was essentially electronic medical record generation across the country. And we were able to define a very specific population who matched the Storm II patients. And we were able to then look in a blinded fashion. So, you know, it wasn't that we went a priori and looked for very, very sick dying folks. No, we looked at patients who actually met the characteristics that were enrolled for the patients to the storm study, what happened to them. And what we saw there was very sobering. We saw that in fact, median survival in that historical database, which was relatively contemporaneous, was actually very short. And in the storm database, the survival was about twice as good. So recognizing all the caveats of the historical control, this suggests that this survival benefit that we're seeing is not just fluke that there may actually be really some merit to its, to its use.